Hey guys, I posted this uh, light bulb problem just a little while ago and I finally got around to making the solution video for it. Uh, the solution's pretty interesting. It's uh, simple but hard to get to, so I'm excited to lay out the process. Uh, just to recall, we have 100 light bulbs in the hallway, each represented by a number, and we also have 100 guys lined up, each represented by a number. And the rule is that each guy goes through and pulls the switch of all the light bulbs represented by a multiple of his number. So the third guy pulls every the switch of every third light bulb. And the question is, after all 100 guys have walked through the hallway, how many light bulbs will be on and what number will each of the on light bulbs be represented by? So a lot of you were able to figure out that the number of times the switch is pulled determines whether a light bulb is on or off. So if we were to pull it one time, then it's on. If it's pulled twice, then it's off. And then if it's pulled a third time, then it's on. And if it's pulled a fourth time, then it's back off. And we can make the observation that if we pull a switch one or three times, then it's on. And we can extend that and say that if we were to pull it a fifth time, it'd be on. And in general, if we pull it an odd number of times, then that light bulb will be on. So what determines how many times a switch is pulled? Well, it turns out that it's the number of factors or divisors of that number. So here we have the 18th light bulb, and we have the list of its divisors, and each of these numbers represents uh, a guy who's going to be pulling the switch of that 18th light bulb. And how we usually find these factors is we pair them up. So we say 1 times 18 is 18, 2 times 9 is 18, and 3 times 6 is 18. And we see we have 6 factors of 18, meaning it's pulled 6 times, making it off because of that even number. So we have to consider what would cause a number to have an odd number of factors. So let's just look at a, a general number, and we'll call it m. And we can find all of its factors. We can say a times b equals m. And we can say c times d equals m. And we can say e times f equals m. And so far, we've found six factors of m. And it seems like every time we find a pair, we get two more factors, leaving us with an, an even number of factors. So we have to think, what would cause maybe one factor to come out of a pair? And it turns out that if we can write m as g times g or g squared, then we have only g coming out of that pair, meaning that we have now have an odd number of factors. And if we look at all of the square numbers and we find all of their factors, then we see that all of them have an odd number of factors for this reason. So if we look at 16, for example, we see that 1 times 16 is 16, and 2 times 8 is 16, and then that leaves us with just 4 in the middle, so 4 times 4 is 16. So we have 5 factors of 16, which which means that it's pulled five times and is therefore on. And we see something similar with all the other square numbers. So the answer to this problem is that there are 10 light bulbs on after all 100 guys have walked through, and the numbers they're represented by are the first 10 whole square numbers. So thanks for watching. This was a fun problem. Uh, just look out for the next video.